Hi guys, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are here in Cambridge for the Overclocking event all weekend long. I have on my right RBBY 258. Yeah. Hello. And I have on my left Gav Bon. Hi. <laughs> So these two guys were competing against each other in the one versus one death match. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn to you, Gavin, first because I heard that uh, you lost by one point. What one, happened? One point. It was um, the memory, really. It was playing up. I knew what it was capable of, and it just wasn't playing ball whatsoever. It, I would have I would have won if it wasn't for this memory. It was pretty bad. Um, I do love um, XTU as a benchmark, but. It just didn't seem to play ball. I was doing the slow boot, the slow modes, um, trying to get the mo like, squeeze every little bit out of it, but it just wasn't one. It just it, it hurts me. It really hurts me. What, what frequency were you running when you were benching? Um, I was running at 5.7. Um, I was trying 5.8. It run, but the memory just wasn't playing ball. 5.7 was the sweet spot um, for me, but just wasn't meant to be today. <laughs> wasn't meant to be. One point, that's all it takes. Yeah, you know, it's sometimes so close, especially when you run like almost the same frequencies yeah, in some yeah. uh, some settings. Uh, was that your first time uh, using liquid nitrogen? Oh no, no, no! I've used liquid nitrogen a couple of times before, so I, I know the drill. Um, big bencher, I love I love benching. Um, not been benching for long, but um, at least but two three years I've been benching. So what? I should I I should have used my experience a bit more. Um, I should have known the memory was going to hold me back and. Obviously, it cost me. It cost well, me. Y y you have some pretty uh, extreme videos uh, <laughs> that you guys do, so yeah, it yeah. was, was fun. Um, second, guys, uh, actually, your opponent that uh, outcome you by one point was RBBY 258. Uh, how was it? It was a close match. I got the score quite early, and I couldn't lay another score down for a long time. And he caught right up one point behind, and he just couldn't get no higher. So you actually like the the first score, you, one of the first score you submitted uh, was that your was best score for the yeah. for the complete uh, yeah, complete one score, one score, and um, I managed to match it once, and then once the competition was over, I beat it by one more point. <laughs> what what did you think about like the one hour time limit and the one versus one uh, system? It was it was great fun. I've never done it before. I've never run XTU before. It was my first time, and I've never used C97 platform before. So it was a lucky win. <laughs> Did you use LN2 before? I have once, just once. So actually, it's, uh, it's a very decent, uh, a very decent performance right, that you did uh, right here. Um, do you have something to say to your um, ex opponents now that uh, sadly lost by one point? Uh, I'm, I'd like to be friends with him. Oh, yeah. He seems like a nice guy. <laughs> You're trying to avoid the punch? <laughs> well, yeah, that's why we're this far apart. Thank you. <laughs> Today. Uh, last questions. What will be your best souvenir of this event? Uh, what was that? Sorry. Yeah. What will be your best souvenir for this event? Uh, winning. <laughs> <laughs> and you? The community, being part of the community, which I love, and helping it grow. And that's what I'm here for. And to and, and to lose, I'm here to lose too. But yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you, Gabon. Thank you, ABBY. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you want to see more videos, you can just watch them on our Facebook fan page. And you can also find us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash overclocking TV. Until then, keep pushing it.